Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we have an interesting little math word problem. And of course, it involves the concept or the amount of a billion. Okay, so you, know, you hear these huge figures on TV, billions and trillions of dollars and whatnot. Uh, when you really kind of think about it, these are very huge numbers. But let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. And the problem says how many pennies are in one billion dollars, but uh, this particular um, problem, we wanna write our answer in scientific notation, okay? So specifically, you wanna express your answer in scientific notation. Now, if you don't know what scientific notation is, I'll explain this in a second. So if you think you could do this problem, but you just don't understand the scientific notation part, we'll do it as well. That's perfectly fine. And feel free to use your calculator. But uh, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, we're gonna solve this problem. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So how many pennies are in a billion dollars? Well, this is the correct answer, okay? One times 10 to the 11th power pennies, okay? So this is the correct amount of uh, pennies in $1 billion. So this right here is what we call scientific notation. And it is equivalent to 100 billion pennies, okay? So if someone was to give you or offer you 100 billion pennies, certainly I'm pretty sure you would take it, but where would you put all those pennies? I mean, I don't even know how many dump trucks it would take to do that. But nevertheless, I'm pretty sure all of us would accept 100 billion pennies. That is quite a large number, okay? But we are still dealing with billions. And if you think about it, there are trillions and multiple trillions of dollars, you know, in terms of uh, finance is really kind of mind boggling, right? So we're gonna talk about this concept of scientific notation and how to calculate uh, this answer in a second. But if you got this right, even if you have this as your final answer and you didn't get the scientific notation part, I certainly still think you deserve a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars who can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how many pennies there are in $1 billion. Who knows? Maybe they'll give you some pennies. They might break their piggy bank and say, here, here is 50 pennies. Go have a good time at the arcade or wherever else you might be able to spend that amount of money. Okay, so let's go and get into this problem. So the first thing is we need to understand what is $1 billion, right? Like, okay, well, what is a billion? It's kind of confusing because, you know, you're like, oh, here's 100. There is 1,000. Oh, here's 10,000. You might even remember what 100,000 looks like. But when you start getting up to a billion, you have to start really thinking about it. But a billion is a one. And then you have uh, nine zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you have a one right here. This is a billion dollars, okay? Or one billion mathematically. So it is a very large number. And if you get confused on this, just start writing these numbers out. That's oh, 100, that's 1,000, 10,000. This would be um, 100,000, you just keep adding, right? So add another zero, you get a million, et cetera, et cetera. And you keep going until you're like, oh, well, I'm beyond million, I must be into the billion uh, category. So I'm not gonna get into how to uh, characterize numbers, but hopefully you understand that this is a billion dollars. Because if you don't, it's gonna be difficult to do this problem. All right, so what's the next step? Well, the next step is we wanna know how many pennies are in a billion dollars, and we are talking about dollars. So we need to know how many pennies are in a dollar, right? So we have to think about this in a second, or in a four second, we have to say, okay, uh, how many pennies are in a dollar? This is stuff that you should already know, but hopefully um, you understand that uh, there are 100 pennies in $1, okay? So if we wanna to go to pennies to dollars, I divide by 100. Okay, so in other words, if I have 200 pennies, I divide that by 100 uh, to go to dollars, right? So to, to go from pennies to dollars, I divide by 100. So in this case, I would have 200 pennies is equal to two dollars, right? But that's not the conversion factor that I want. I wanna know how many dollars, how many pennies are in a billion dollars. So I wanna be thinking about dollars to pennies, right? So I'm, I'm thinking about billion dollars. I wanna express that in terms of pennies. So from dollars to pennies, how do we uh, go from dollars to pennies? Well, you multiply by 100, right? If I have $1, I'm gonna take that, multiply by 100, you're gonna have 100 cents, 100 pennies. All right, so you gotta be clear about 
what $1 billion looks like. And you also have to be clear on the conversion factors for going from dollars to pennies and pennies to dollars. But this one is the one we need for this particular problem. Okay, so if I have $1, okay, and I want to know how many pennies, just multiply by 100. If I had $10, multiply by 100. If I have a billion dollars, multiply by 100, that conversion, conversion factor is not going to change. So we're going to take our $1 billion, multiply by 100, and you're going to end up with this crazy amount right here, which is 100 billion. And this is the right answer. 100 billion what? Well, this would be pennies or cents, however you want to express that. But that is the right answer. However, the question was, let's express this in scientific notation. Before we finish up this problem, please take a quick second and hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube as I'm trying to reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you're interested in relearning mathematics, make sure to check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find a link to that in the description below. In this course, I go over basic math, algebra, geometry, some trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. So if you've been away from math for many years, well, this is the perfect little course for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. Now, you generally start studying scientific notation in algebra, maybe courses like pre-algebra, algebra one. And let's just look at this word here, scientific notation. So you talk about like science, right? And notation is the way to write things. Now in science, what do you deal with? You deal with extremely large uh, values and extremely small values, like the distance, you know, the earth is to a star, you know, measured in uh, light years and, you know, trillions of miles and all that kind of stuff. You're dealing with crazy large numbers or maybe like an uh, electron in an atom, you know, like its distance, you know, how many, I mean, how many uh, moles, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with that. Uh, terminology in chemistry, but you're dealing with crazy, crazy, uh, yeah, they're very small values or, or very, very large numbers. So in science, we uh, we need a way to handle these uh, extreme values, okay? And that's why we have scientific notation, and that is a, a way to express numbers as uh, using um, the power of 10. So if you never heard of this before, you should know about this, especially if you're taking any sort of algebra course. I teach this in uh, all of my um, algebra courses, starting with pre-algebra, algebra one, whatever the case is. Uh, so let's go and take a look at how to write this 100 billion into scientific notation. All right, so what we wanna do is, let me kind of go back over here before I show you, is look at the digits that we have. So the digits, we have all these zeros and we have one, so we want to think of a number between 1 and 10, all right? So using the digits that we have, so 1, uh, if we have a, uh, we can use this digit, 1, and we have a number between 1 and 10. If I use 1 and 0, that's not between 1 and 10. It's got to be less than 10, okay? So we're going to use the 1. That's our first concept. So in other words, let me just show you here. If I have 1, 7, 8, 9, 0, uh, actually, that's to make it a little bit simple. Uh, one seven uh, zero zero. So let's say seventeen hundred, and I wanted to think of uh, the digits here between a number between one and ten. I would look at uh, this one and seven. Okay. So what's the number between one and ten? Well, that would be one point seven, not seventeen. That's greater than ten, and not point one seven. I would need uh, one point seven. So in other words, just to be clear here, I know I'm going kind of quick explaining this because I can't give you a full complete lesson on scientific notation is we want to put that decimal point someplace using these digits so you have a number between 1 and 10. If I go right here, that's less than 1. If I go right there, that's bigger than 10. I got to put it right here, 1.7. That fits nicely between 1 and 10. So that's our first objective here. And in this case, a number between 1 and 10 is simply just going to be 1. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And that's going to be 1.0. So my, basically, my decimal point is right here. Okay. So what am I getting at? Well, right here, this 100 billion, this is our decimal point. Okay. This is where the decimal point is at. And what you have to do is you have to count at where you're at to where you need to go. I'm kind of writing this in a real simplistic way. But we need to count how many decimal places are, uh, that we need to move 
this decimal point. So you got to count this out super careful. So watch what I'm going to do. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have to move the decimal point 11 places to the left to get it right here, okay, to get it at 1 or 1.0, all right? So uh, when you're dealing with uh, scientific, no scientific notation, you're going to take this number that you have between 1 and 10. In this case, it's 1. And then you're going to put times 10. And if you had to move the decimal point from uh, uh, to the left, okay, to get to this new um, place, uh, that is going to be a positive exponent. So that's going to be 11 as our exponent. It's the number of places you moved that decimal point. Okay, so 1 times 10 to the 11th power is a number expressed in scientific notation. Matter of fact, it is this number expressed in scientific notation, but this is um, a much easier way to write or, you know, the easier notation to deal with very, very large numbers. So anyways, what's the whole point of this uh, problem? Well, it's to get you thinking about scientific notation and to get you thinking about large quantities, right? And also, too, if you're interested in a billion dollars, hey, maybe if you understand all this math, you can go invent the next artificial intelligence technology out there, and maybe you'll make multiple billions of dollars. Who knows? Okay, I certainly think you're capable of doing it, and hopefully my little math videos will help you out along the way. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.